Welcome to another edition of the Adventures of Kano and the Rocks. He's got his rock. He just was cooling off in this little waiting pool. It's in the low 90s. Oh, we're going to lay in the shade now that we're cooled off from being wet. What you got there? Oh, I bet if we put that in the pool, you'll get back in. Daddy, now I gotta splash all the water out and try to get the rock out. Or just build the waiting pool up and make it all flow over the edge. Nice and cool. So this is how our self-waking totes are doing. Here we got an atomic pepper plant. We've got some curly girl tomato plants back there. We've got some big boys in this one. We got a red knight and a lady bell growing here. Those uh, metal plates when I made them, they were on the front. I actually stuck down inside, give me a little bit of a windbreak because the wind is just tearing up the pepper plants. I won't have to prune them, it looks like they're getting pruned on their own. Then back here we've got some zucchini growing in this bucket. This is some cilantro. It, I put it in and it started dying off, but it looks like it's starting to come back. So we got some new growth coming up here. So hopefully it does better. Over here, this one is thyme, which my wife already picked a little bit of because she's going to make something for dinner with it. This is basil. The wind's been a little rough on it, but it's got some new growth coming in on it too. Then in this one, we have Italian oregano. It's doing pretty good. And over here, we got some cucumbers. These are bush cucumbers. I don't know what happened to the leaves other than the wind's been really rough out here. Uh, hopefully they make it. I don't know. We'll see how they do. It looks like there might be some new growth coming in there. Definitely some there. So, uh, yeah, the wind in Iowa can get pretty tough on plants, especially when they're early. So, basically, what we have is we have our garden all right here on the cement pad. I even have some hog wire in the back of the totes so that when the plants get big enough, I can tie them up to that, the tomato plants. So, and these will uh, just pull out and uh, when the plants get big enough that we don't need to protect them. And on the atomic pepper we actually have one little pepper right there. But as you can see there's tons of flowers coming on it so we may have some whatever an atomic pepper is. We'll see how that works out. The Kano is back to trying to get his rock out. So, the pool was full to overflowing now that he's laid in it, soaked up half of it and threw half of it on the floor. He's trying to get his rock out. I guess it's a matter of at what point do I just help him out, take the rock out. Or do I let him entertain himself?
look. It's a big old spider. Isn't he cute? We'll take care of him. All right, we'll help you out here. I'll take the rock. Oh, it's cold. Nice and cold now. We'll give it a toss. And he'll go get it. Come on. Because you know I can't leave you loose. No, because if I go in the house, you might run away. You jumped the fence the other day. Come on, let's go. Come on. Kano, come. Come on, let's go. Come on. Got it. Come on, let's go. Now he'll get to be tied up on the porch so he can dry out for a little bit. No coming in the house when you're that wet. He does dry fairly quickly. Thanks for watching another episode of The Adventures of Kino and the Rock. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share. Everyone have a good day.